I said in that short video on the dicks um, I got the two bags I went to dicks and I went to Ollie's bargain outlet and this is the video you're more probably interested in because in here are some goodies that are going into our Christmas in July giveaway so uh, I went to Ollie's didn't have any discounts at Ollie's this is just the straight prices um, I'll, I'll loot each price as I go along with this one not so much as I did with the uh, the dicks because uh, like I said I had 50% off for that but uh, this was just straight, but they had it in the circular. I hadn't earned enough points for any of the 10% off, and it wasn't over a holiday season like President's Day weekend or, or uh, Christmas when you get the nice little coupons that give you like 20% off of everything in the store and uh, you know 25% off of specific uh, seasonal items. This one was just straight with what their uh, on-the-store shelf price is. So let's crack into this. Again, perch patterns. Perch patterns work really, really good for me. Um, here in New Jersey, um, bluegill, perch, uh, some shiner patterns depending on the water clarity, um, and, and of course craw patterns, and you're going to see that throughout. So uh, we've got, right off the bat, for $6.99, we've got a Lucky John's Pointer 95. It's a slow suspending. It's in the nasty BG. Uh, it shouldn't say BG. It should say uh, nasty P for nasty perch. But, uh, so we got ourselves a little crankbait in a perch-ish. I mean, it, it is a blue gill because it's got the hash marks. It gives you that blue gill presentation. It's got green on the, green and chartreuse on the heel. But me, those striations, it's more from a distance, a perch pattern. Uh, that being said, three and three quarter inches, dives four to five foot. Great for this shallow time of year. I'm, you know, fishing primarily off the bank. So, uh, you know, parallel in the bank, I want to stay within that six to one, two foot area. So a four to five foot diver, five eighths of an ounce, three and three quarter inches. Not bad, a little jerk bait. And I'm gonna definitely enjoy that out on the water. So there's that for $6.99. Um, I got from Berkeley was on the shelf. Love Berkeley baits. This is the Wild Tang 6.5. Little crank bait. In an epic crawl pattern. Again, this is a post spawn color. This is when they're feeding back up. This dives to six and a half feet, so it's back out in the in the deeper water, and you can pull it in. If you're fishing off the boat, you draw, obviously go to those uh, those points and edges where it's going to drop off those drops. This was four dollars and ninety nine cents. Couldn't couldn't resist that for five bucks. Um, the wild thing, six point five. It is a half. Oh, excuse me, two inch, two inch, uh, 12 grams. And again, dive six, six and a half feet. Um, I just like, I just love that pattern, had to get it. There's a bait in here I got strictly because of the pattern. I have no intention of ever throwing it because I don't think I have any way to use it. <laughs> we have for three and a half foot diving, uh, this is a quarter ounce. We have the Pitbull 3.5. Again, this is another $4.99 bait. Great silver flashing color for the minnow shad uh, kind of thing we got for 4.99 also the the bad shad this goes to that flat side i love flat sided baits uh 4.99 again this is again six and a half foot so it's a little deeper diving got that bigger bill on it but like the other one love this craw pattern definitely a post spawn deeper water fishing lure um, the red and the vibrant blue is my pre-spawn into summer. Once the summer transitions there, then I go to these browns, ambers, uh, root beers, the green hue, because as those crayfish start going into the grass lines, they're gonna pick up green. If you have crayfish as a forage in your area, pay attention. During the spring, when you have no grass on the water yet, the water's only still just warming up, you're gonna see them come out of that mud. They're kind of rubbed. They're, they're gonna go into molt. 
um, they're going to have that red hue to them, the pinks and the reds. When the grass flourishes, you go to these green colors, greens and blue hues. Um, that's that they're, they're going to be into those grass lines, into that the rocks where the muck and the mud and the the moss has grown in between those rocks. They're going to camouflage those crayfish are going to camouflage into this green tone. After that, when we're going back into the winter, that fall transition, start throwing your root beers, your ambers, because now the grass is dying off. It's drawing back. The the mud's there, so you're going to get these brown colors. This is all, you know not normally thought of common sense match the hatch color scheme. So you flow through these color variants throughout your season and you'll be able to pick off when your, your, your co-angler's throwing uh, you know, a crayfish bait that's bright, brilliant orange. And yes, orange will attract them all year long, but when he's not getting hit on that bright orange, you can pick up the exact same bait, same weight, same depth, same everything, throw it into a a, a mimicking color pattern for that time, and they're gonna be like, oh, that might be a real one. He's throwing this bright orange thing. I don't see any orange crayfish around. I've been eating them all day. Oh, there's a green one. That's probably a real crawfish, and you'll pick off the bass that he might miss. Believe it or not, I've done it. I've been on the other end. I've been the one throwing the bright orange, and somebody has picked up a, a similar bait, not exactly identical, but a similar bait in that slightly muted tone. Same pattern, muted tone. He's hooked up on four bass. I got one in the boat. Big difference. Big difference. Same idea, same cadence, same basic presentation. He just went to a more muted tone, and I had a more vibrant in-your-face tone. They didn't go for me. They went for him. So uh, I've been on both sides of the spectrum. <laughs> so just a little helpful hint so you don't have to suffer the embarrassment that I did. And, yes, I had to buy lunch for the guy. <laughs> so uh, next up. We're going to get down to that bait that's definitely going to one of you. Some of these that I'm showing you might actually end up in that bait, in that box. Uh, Slender. Slender in the Tennessee Shad. This is a slow suspending. It's a three to four foot diver, and it's a three eighths ounce. Again, I like this. It's got that black back and that white, uh, white belly. Um, good for, you know, murky, muddy water. I've got... This guy right here, $4.99 as well. Oh, that by the way, it's $6.99 for, uh, for that Slender Shad. Um, and for the Pit Bull was $4.99 as well. This is $4.99. Uh, again, this is the, the Dredger 14.5. So this is a deep diving 14-foot diver. Uh, 12 to 15, they say. 5 eighths of an ounce, and it, it's uh, two and a half inches long. But again, awesome, awesome color with, uh, you know, that, that root beer splatter back pattern. Let's take it out. Why the hell not? Give you a better, better picture of this root beer color. It's in the package with the glare. Won't do it justice. So there you go. You got that brilliant white comes to that green and rolls over to a dark, dark, deep green, and then you can see that root beer hue right here on the edge where it transitions. So again, that's an epic flash coming through. Great for bombing way out there. Um, and then just dragging it down slow, taking it off every piece of structure you can possibly take it off of without hanging it up. Um, I'm looking forward to that. It might be a little difficult depending on where I am when I'm fishing this, but uh, hopefully, hopefully I can put it to its best possible use. And this one was one of the trophy colors from past past, uh, past Berkeley's influenced uh, excursion. So there's that. Uh, I've got, again, for $6.99, here's another one of those, uh, the, the slender prop. This, this one here is in White Knight. Again, it's got that silver tone, white bottom, uh, for $6.99 for that. And it's the same, same diving, three to four foot, three eighths ounce. I got one last, and then the goodies. The bait that I don't ever intend on throwing. I might, I might, but I just, I saw this color pattern and I just had to grab it because I'm, I'm kooky that way. So from Strike Pro, you're not tripping. <laughs> We've got this awesome kind of uh, trippy uh, multicolor VMC hook, way too big a diver for my lake. 
Uh, but definitely awesome if I took it out on a boat. Maybe even actually if I went out to the to the center of the lake, because uh, there's 20 foot sections in my lake, uh, I could definitely use this. Uh, but I doubt I'd get uh, a muskie on it. But you never know. Um, that said, two dollars ninety nine cents for that, even as just a wall, you know, a dust collector. I just saw that that trippy kind of swirl purple green blue almost a mother of pearl style paint scheme that they have on this and the red hooks and i just i got it so this is a four to seven meter depth three quarter ounce um two and three quarters length diving uh, uh diving crankbait so but again vmc hooks strike pro brand um all good quality and uh, just an awesome color scheme that said, I alluded to the last video. I'm going to say it in this video. I looked everywhere for these. Dick's didn't have them. Walmart didn't have them. Um, they just you couldn't find them in stock. And I resist, I'll be honest, I resist going online for a lot of things. I want to keep brick-and-mortar stores in business as long as possible. It's, it's a, a waning, fading ability to actually go into the store and see your item and hold it in your hand and say, yep, that one's got a chipped hook. Let me go over here. I'll get that one. This one's got a bill that's cracked. Uh, I'll go get this one. Why deal with it coming in the mail broken, having to be sent back, and then waiting for it to come? When I want it, I want it. And I've had that issue right now with uh, um, the supply house for a rod that came. I ordered it at Shop Carl's. The warehouse in Texas went to ship it out. I didn't get it. I finally shows up. My postman says, no, nah, this is, it's, it's not, you're not getting it. It's garbage. It's broken in half. He sent it right back. I had to then get in touch with them. Hopefully the new one's coming. It's right back in that, it comes out of the same facility. It's right back stuck in that same town. And now I'm anxious to see whether it progresses because the last time it was stuck here in Coppell, Texas, it was stuck there for over a month and a half or a month at least. And it took, took a month and a half before it showed up here in New Jersey. So uh, I wanted to come out of Coppell and get here in New Jersey at least in an expedient amount of time. So hopefully I can get it in my hands. That all said, this is something I could have ordered online, but I waited, and they had it in Dick's, and hopefully, you know, you can go online and see if I'm right, but I'm hopefully I didn't get scammed out of a little too much money. I think it's probably a little more expensive on, uh, you know, on, on the web. It might be uh, cheaper that I got it here from Dick's. Um, Savage Gears 3D Bat. Again, this is straight up my pompadour bait. I love pompadours. Four dollars. Four dollars ninety nine cents. I don't know what they're going for right now. I might, you know, after this when I'm in editing, I might just pop it up and see um, how much they're going for online. Uh, if it's less, I will probably put it here somewhere on the screen. Um, if it's more, oh well, uh, then I, I saved money. Uh, I hopefully everywhere I find it, it'll be more. So I can say, yes, I got a good deal. So it's a 2017. I mean, it's an old bait. Obviously, it's going to be cheap because it's an old bait. Not too many people throw them. It was a gimmick. It still is a gimmick. But hey, it's cool. It's cute. It's, you know, uh, there's a lot of things I have. I have the rats. I have, obviously, you guys are getting those beaver baits back there, top water. And obviously, and a diving beaver. So uh, I found them. I grabbed them. I got them. So one for you, one for me, right? So uh, I'll open mine up. I'll leave yours still in the package. Actually, let me make sure these both have... Yeah, they're both stapled. So I'll leave yours stapled in the package. Mine, I'll open up. But it's, you know, you've seen it online. Guggen's ran them. Um, uh, Lojo's fished with it. A, a bunch of guys. So you got this hard plastic, feather trebled hook, two trebles, pompadour wings, and these are metal, not plastic. So that's definitely a point of quality. And it is absolutely like straight up a fruit bat i mean come on you can't you can't well it's a fruit bat with a with a nose piercing but it's a, a fruit bat that you couldn't possibly get a better presentation or representation down to the, the little vents in the ears that are on bats that actually funnel the the vibrations out of the air down into their ear canal so that they can you know use their their location skills Real bats have actual folds, ribs in their ear because it, it cuts the wind noise out and the turbulence as they're flying, and it helps them echolocate. I know I'm a science nerd, but anyway, that's in there. 
um, the hairs are, are, are emulated in the body structure, you know, is stamped into it. It's got the overly muscular chest and the rib pattern of the bat. It's got the little feet and the claws. It, it's amazing the detail that they put into this blow, blown plastic, um, you know, plastic emulation of a, of a bat. Even the canals in your eye, these little vents here, you know, because your eye's not just a perfect circle, it's got a little area for the tear ducts. The tear duct spots are in the little eyes of this bat. So for that, as a piece of, of craftsmanship, I'm not gonna say art, because art's the, but craftsmanship, I, I do appreciate. So I got one for me, I got one for you. Um, I, just, I just had to do it. I saw them. Also going out to the Hookaholics is, uh, some trout hooks, couldn't help myself. I, I figure you guys out there are gonna have trout hunting, uh, trout fishing as well. So, and these also work pretty well for, for very light line drop shotting. Um, if you're pan fishing for $2.99, threw that in. That's going into the giveaway. The bat's going into the giveaway. For the youth anglers, just so you can sense your, your bite, I got a set of bells you can put on your son or daughter's fishing rod so he doesn't have to get bored, he can wait for the the rattle and know that it's time to set the hook. $1.99, especially if you go out catfishing or, you know, um, dead sticking. And finally for myself, the last uh, last of my baits, because those two are going, or three are going to you, the bat, the bells, and the whistles. <laughs> They're going into that giveaway. I uh, hope you enjoy, get some good use out of that. And finally, I like blade baits, but I'm not really a straight blade pl bait uh, uh, fisherman, but I do like these kind of hybrid style blade baits. This is the Nishiki um, from Lucky Craft. $6.99. I think it's worth it. Uh, only had one or two color patterns. This was the closest that I could go with that I actually liked. But it's basically a blade bait. You know, it's got it's got the hard fins here. It's a crank bait, you know, like a, a rattle trap. But with that lip on the back, I'm thinking it's going to act more like a blade bait. Um, and by the line positioning. Two trebles. I do love the red face is what really sold it, and the little red dots down the side uh, sold me on it. The chartreuse on the tail fin on the on the uh, dor uh, dorsal that uh, <clears throat> eh, it's a bonus, but mainly it was the red head that uh, that caught my eye. So I figured I'd grab it. And again, six bucks. Um, as much as I saved two dollars for that, two dollars for that, and I'm hoping with the bats being only four dollars and ninety nine cents, and everywhere else, hopefully they're seven or eight dollars a piece. Um, uh, even if Savage Gear still sells them on their website, I'm, uh, I'm hoping that that, uh, that worked out. And by the way, this is the brown color. I think they, what do they call this? I think they call it like brown natural or something. I don't know. Um, do they list the color? Floating, crawling. Yeah. 3D bat. Oh, oh, yeah. Um, uh, the, the color, it's golden crawl. It's golden crawl color because I don't see a color on it. So it's golden crawl by default. It says up there on that. Oh, you can't see it. Up on my on my whiteboard. Golden crawl. Um, <laughs> so hopefully somebody will have some fun with the beavers and the bats. Oh my! And uh, some child or somebody who's want to sleep wants to sleep in their tent while the fish are out biting can use this. It's also really good if you're gonna uh, just throw out a line like a hand line. You can clench this down on the line, drape the line over a stick if you're doing survival day, um, where you just have a stick in the ground, throw your line out, tie the line to the rock on the bank, and then you drape it over a stick, and then another stick, two fork sticks, and you put this guy dangling between the two forks, and then when the fish take it, it'll wiggle that line, it'll wiggle the bell in between the two sticks, and you can get up and start reeling in your hand line if you want to do a little survival fun camping trip thing. Done that before. Um, as always, from me to you, I hope somebody gets some good use out of these tight lines. I'll catch you on the next cast. Peace, Hookaholics. And as always, sh like, share, subscribe. If you haven't subscribed to this channel and you enjoy uh, and you want to be entered in giveaways, past, present, future, you're going to need to be a subscriber. Uh, share it. I'm definitely going to come up with a, uh, a big giveaway of a very high-ticket item, and I might just make it a mandate if it's not shared you're not eligible. I don't know. It could work. Maybe not. I've seen other YouTubers do it. So I'm, I'm on the hot, on the, on the cusp of whether or not to do that, but, uh, you know, we'll see. 
as always, I appreciate those who have been loyal. Um, James, gratefully appreciated to your, you know, constant communications. Um, everybody who, who talks to me in the comments below, you know, I, I enjoy all of it. You got uh, you know, no, limit, uh, no lim limit Outdoors, you've got uh, Fish in the Mitten, you've got um, uh, No Redemption Outdoors, you've got uh, there's just a ton of other YouTubers on that side, and more importantly, beyond the other YouTubers that do their videos and happen to enjoy coming in and chiming in with me as I do go into their videos, I appreciate all you out there that don't have any content on your channels and you're just spending time with me and sharing a little bit of your time that you take away from some of the other YouTubers that you watch and to put me in that class of the Lojos and the Googans and, and uh, you know, Debo and uh, of naturally, you know, realistic and all you guys out there, I appreciate that I can be in that same subset of, of gentlemen that try and gentle ladies that try to, uh, to give you some information. Maybe you'll get a little tip from me that you wouldn't find there. Maybe you'll get a lot of tips from there that you might share with me here so that I can learn what I miss on their channels. You might see something I didn't see and be like, yeah, Lojo said this, or, uh, you, know, uh, you know, Realistic said this. And I can gain that influence information from them, and I appreciate that. So if you have tips that you brought up from your pap and your, your fishing trips and your mother took you out fishing or what have you and gave you and instilled some knowledge and you can share it with me, I'm always, always appreciative, always learning, because that's, that's life. Life is about learning. Finally, again, Christmas and July giveaways coming up. Uh, we're in March, going on April now, so uh, it's going to be cool. Um, I don't know when I'm going to have this scheduled to post, but uh, it's coming. It's coming. And like I said, I'm trying to make sure that I have so much stuff that I actually got to get a bigger box, um, and then this giveaway is going to be epic. Uh, I appreciate it once and once more from the bottom of my heart. You guys take care out there and uh, be safe. Bye. I know it's lonely at the tail, but that's not by speculation. But the position that I got, I climbed too high to fall, went too hard to drop.